Okay, so let's talk about this card first. And this is pretty much indicative of um, leaving the past behind you. Whatever it was in the past that was not working, that might have been hurtful, that might have been quite scary. I feel like whatever that situation was, you have learned a lot from it. The swords on the boat, they signify knowledge, insight, and wisdom. And they signify that, you know, there, there are only six of them. So you're still learning. You're still accumulating new, new skills, new knowledge. And I feel that, you know, everything that ended in the past, it would signify an ending of a cycle. You're taking all the things, all the lessons that you learned from that cycle so that you can move on and use those lessons in order to help you with the new lessons in the new cycle. So this is a very progressive card. It basically indicates that you're growing, you're moving on, you're letting water under the bridge, and you're just, you know, sailing away from it, okay? And uh, a lot of times, this is a very spiritual card, because I, I, I think of the, the person that I'm reading for, which is you, Sagittarius, I think of the person as the, the woman, and I think of the man as more of a spiritual entity. Somebody is guiding you. Somebody is making sure that you're safe. And uh, they literally might be spiritual like uh, guidance, you know, spirit guides that are giving you uh, ways to cope. They Or they can be people, you know, physical people divinely guided into your life so that they can help you steer away from a very troublesome situation, okay? Um, I do see for some of you, there might be some, um, in relationships, there might be some arguments, disputes over custody with the child, okay? So like, um, I, I feel like you're reaching that point where you are both agreeing. We both want what's best for the child. And you're finally coming to, to, to terms with that, that the other person is not working against you. Everybody wants what's best for the child, the way that, that they express it comes out in a power struggle, comes out in an ego conflict. But ultimately, people are on the same team, okay? Um, let me talk about what's in your present situation. Okay, Sagittarius. Um, I have here the Ten of Wands. This is basically feeling very, very inundated, having a lot of responsibilities on your plate. Um, you know, having to go to work and then go home and be the homemaker too. And even for the um, male Sagittarians out there, having to go to work and then, you know, go home and have to take care of the kids, have to take care of the domestic responsibilities. So I feel a lot of responsibilities are piling on you for those who are in a home environment with a significant other. Or, you know, just by yourself, there's a lot of responsibilities. I feel almost as if, the responsibilities, the work, the stress, and the strain of the external environment of your work or even your family environment or even, you know, just the, the everything that you're dealing with right now, it's affecting your love relationship, okay? And additionally, I feel like your relationship might have been also very, very one-sided where one person took care of everything. One person might be a homemaker and the other person is like the... Um, the main bread uh, winner. And so there are imbalances within the relationship. It feels almost as if one person is doing all the work and the other person is not reciprocating. And I feel like you're going to start to feel, if not already, for the month of February, you're going to start to feel almost as if the situation's not fair. Um, I'm also sensing that I'm also sensing for those of you who are kind of like your, your work life is getting out of control. Be very, very careful and, you know, try to reconnect with your partner. Try not to let the relationship become affected by your work situation, okay? Um, I just feel a lot of responsibilities and I feel like some of you might be in a relationship where there isn't a lot of love left over. It just seems like you're staying together for the kids. It just seems like you're staying together because of um, responsibilities, okay, obligations. And um, you feel almost as if if you were to leave, you wouldn't be able to manage everything on your own. So it's indicative of fear. And so I feel like, you know, this is not a happy home, happy place for you to be, okay? So that's what I'm sensing. And I apologize once again, Sagittarius. In the past position, we have here the Knight of Coins as well as the Two of Swords. 
we have an earth sign that some of you are dealing with. And this is shown up here as a Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm sorry, not a Sagittarius. A Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn that you Sagittarius are dealing with. And um, this person is somebody I feel like they renege on their responsibilities. And I feel almost as if they're they're not making a lot of money in order to be it seems almost as if you know they're the the responsibilities are very one-sided again it's like they make promises they can't keep and it's almost like they might feel almost as if they're a victim of their circumstance they're um they they might also evade responsibilities so i feel like you're dealing with somebody that is not holding up their end of the bargain and it might not even be an earth sign it's just somebody that is very very slow to act they want you to take the initiative and then over time because you have always taken the initiative they just sit back and they don't really do anything to move things along or to help out it might not even be an earth sign it's just an energy of a person that you're dealing with where one person does all the work and the other person just sits back the other person is a little bit passive aggressive and they don't really contribute and so I feel almost as if a big part of you is aware of the dynamics within the relationship. Some of you are trying to decide what to do because I feel like justice and morality and, you know, moral integrity, these are important values that you really, really hold in high regards. And when a relationship is uh, problematic like this, some of you might go two ways. Um, I feel like the, the first is that you might be in denial, okay? And I feel like you might make excuses for the other person. You might make concessions for the other person. And then the other group of you, you're kind of like, okay, I'm seeing finally what I'm trying to see or, or what, am I, what I'm supposed to see. So her third eye is activated. And I feel like this person might have been a little bit sneaky in the way that they do things. But I feel like you're starting to see them in in their you know you're starting to see the truth in technicolor and when the truth comes at you in technicolor it's really hard to um it's really hard to deny the truth so i feel like that's what's happening in this situation foundation is something you're bringing to the environment with we have here the strength card and the strength card basically means that um you have a relationship where two people are very very different okay yes there might have been very strong chemistry physical attraction um but i feel like it's almost like two species okay two species that that do not work well together and one species is actually afraid of the other so in a positive manifestation of this card it basically means there's a lot of attraction there's a lot of chemistry there are differences, but you both can work together as a unit because there is a lot of trust in one another. We have as well the Empress, which basically indicates like um, responsibilities, you know, the, the maternal role. So there might be some third party interference, which indicates, you know, um, the mother of the child, the father of the child, somebody interfering and placing a lot of responsibilities upon you that you need to pick up. And so it's really difficult for you to um, have a relationship with a new person when they're still lingering attachments with an ex via children or via whatever, you know, the circumstance might be. Some of you, there's still attachments like um, emotional attachments or even physical attachments with an ex partner because of this very, very strong sense of chemistry but there is innate incompatibility. There might also be disputes over child rearing techniques, child rearing practices, okay? What's coming through and the things that you are thinking about, we have here the fool, and I feel like some of you just want to retreat. You just want to like drop all of your responsibility. I feel like you're going to be a little bit overwhelmed this month. You just want to just take off and do what you want to do. It, um, like independent of other people. So I feel like there's a daydreamy type of energy about you where you just want to take off. You just want to like, you know, follow somebody else. I feel for some of you, you might have a fire sign that you're thinking about. 
So a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo that you are very much fascinated by. And it almost seems to me as if you're thinking heavily about this person. You're thinking about the life that you could have had or the life that you should have with this person. And so you're planning some type of retreat. You're planning some type of escape. You're planning to follow this person. So I feel like they're, um, they might be the one that is, you know, that, that you have a lot of, um, chemistry with and attraction with. But there is something here about, Either they might have children or they might not want to have children. And so you don't see how things are going to come to fruition long term. So you have another fire sign in your environment that you're very much fascinated by. And you want to go off with this person. But I feel like this person, they're quite adventurous. They're quite, um, I want to say like they're, they're quite exotic is, is a word that comes to mind. And you might just want to follow them to the end of the earth. So I feel like you're chasing after somebody. Or somebody's chasing after you and you're not really sure whether or not it's appropriate anymore but you're there's still like this um this fascination about with another person okay and you just want to get away with them you just want to like uh sail away and not have to worry about other responsibilities what's coming through for you guys here we do have the four of wands as well as the queen of swords so this is a person you're going to be dealing heavily with for this month the person shows up here as an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And I feel like this person might have been like a divorcee. They might have had a uh, come from a broken home. They might have broken off an engagement or it's somebody in, to that effect. And I feel like um, you're looking, if you're looking for love and you're, you know, single, I do sense that this is a person that can, they understand where you're coming from. So there's a lot of compatibility. So this is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So I feel like you have a fire sign, another fire sign, and also an air sign in your midst for those of you who are single and looking. But I do sense that some of you have already, you know, come into the picture with somebody that you are very um, sexually attracted to. And I also feel as if it's kind of hard for you both to see a future together because you might be very different. So on the one hand, there's physical attraction, but on the other hand, two people might not want the same things. I feel like one person doesn't want to be a, a mother or a father. And then the other person might have had like a divorce experience under the belt already. So they're not too anxious about, you know, jumping into a new relationship. Okay. So Sagittarius, for those who are in coupled relationships, really focus on your partner this month, okay? It's going to be vital for you. Um, I do wish you the best. I apologize for a little bit of a grim reading, but uh, you are very strong people. And um, Saturn's hitting you hard, I feel, especially maybe January. I also have my moon in Sagittarius, so um, I, I, I know that the process has been very hard. You know, just imagine Saturn transiting the moon. And so... I feel almost as if this month you have grown through like a major, you have overcome a major growth spurt and you're starting a brand new phase. And um, I mentioned earlier too, and that message is really powerful where I feel like you are creating new karma, new karma. Okay. What you choose to create, it is up to you. So do the right thing, make the right decisions, choose the right choice. Okay. And uh, you are a very, very ethical sign. So given, you know, given a situation where you don't have any external constraints, you always aim to do the right thing, I feel, because you're you're very moral and you're very, um, your moral compass is, is strongly aligned with the divine. So that means every time you're confronted with a decision, and it might be a bad decision, there's always that nagging voice in your head steering you away from it listen to it. Okay. This is a, a month that's going to be a little bit trying, a little bit testing. And it's really important for you to have an outlet so that you can vent. Okay. 